Hey, what's up, Steve Dix? It's Rusaku Gaming, your semi daily car gamer, and today I'm showing you how to create the art to Project Cars 2. So, we are creating custom skins, and this is pretty simple pro uh, project or process to do. So, first thing first, you, you can find all those Project Cars 2 uh, fi car custom livery files from Steam. Just right click over the Project Cars 2 and go uh, the features panel there. And then uh, show the local files and it opens the Steam Apps Common Project Cars 2. Your game folder files. And there we go, the vehicles, textures, custom liveries. And here you can see all those custom livery templates which should be in the game, but in my case, there's only those gray, odd looking DDS files which contain no image data. So, how do you get those image data? They can be found on the internet. But before we get there, we have to install DDS plugin to Photoshop. So, this tutorial actually requires Photoshop, and I assume that you already have some kind of Photoshop skills before actually trying to do a skin. If you don't have, there's a plenty of good exciting tutorials to Photoshop on YouTube. So let's get started. First thing first, we have to go to developer nvidia.com, NVIDIA Texture Tools, Adobe Photoshop. This is the DDS file, DDS plugin what we're needing to get everything working. So just go there. You should, uh, there's actually uh, all these links which I'm showing you are in the description. So just open the tab under the video and you're good to just open those links. Then when this uh, page opens up, that we can see which are the latest versions, of course, and just press the green juicy download button there and we are getting the download center and then if you're using 32-bit Windows, I think you are using 64-bit, because that's most common these days, and you should be. So download the version that you it's, it's to your computer, and then it's, it downloads an .exe file. And you just double-click and install that, and it will go through the plugin. And I'm not going to show you how to install the uh, the plugin because it's so simple and I don't underestimate you, your intelligence. So, when you have installed the plugin, uh, we're going to the paint template download page in actual Project Cars Games forum. And this link will also found on the description below. And here you can see all the files, even the new paid template for Fun Pack DLC has been added as well. So everything is here. This is made by Jan Frischkron, Vehicle Art Manager in Project Cars in Slightly Match Studios. So every files are here. Let's go for something that I don't have, and that will be 1987 Audi Sport Quattro. I'm going to go and download this one, save the file. Yes, it goes and it downloads a RAR file. I'm going to open the file, double click, uh, I mean, I unzip that. Where did that juicy bit go? Right there, and here we can see we have a PSD file actually. So we open that. So here we are in Photoshop and we have this uh, livery the regular livery here available. We can uh, actually activate the wireframe so we can see actually uh, what's going on here. We can see, oh, oops, I have wrong sided. Uh, we can see here's the front end of the car. This is the front of the car. Then we have the hood here. Then we have a windshield and the roof, side window side door, this is the driver's door, this is the passenger's door, uh, rear window, a rear bumper right go right here, and this is the, the trunk. 
So, uh, where we should paint? We should paint here, right here, the, the yellow layer. It's mark paint here. We can also create a new layer and leave this alone. So, if you want to, if you want to do more layers, I'm creating today a black car without any of these silly little door signs. I'm going to press Alt Backspace and I'm, I will get a fresh white layer. If I go Control I, it inverts my white. Okay, what else we have? We have Series Logos folder here. We have all those left, right and bonnet and we can hide them if you don't want to see them. As you can see, they are hiding. And I don't want to use those, but I don't want to mess them up. So I just I just want to hide them. I can actually show them right now so they can be my model to see uh, how, how I replace my graphics. And here's my custom graphics. It happens to be a fake taxi logo. I go here, control C, control V. So I, I copy that and I paste it here, control T. And now I can clearly, uh, freely move and make this look right. I'm gonna go a huge fake taxi logo into the hood right here. I think this is great point. Yes, let's put it right here. And then I'm gonna go actual very, very big fake taxi logo to the side here. I'm positioning it right here. Let's make it huge. It can, it can actually be very, very huge. I can copy this by holding Alt key and just dragging. Drag it right here. Control T once again and I just flip it. with arrow keys and shift plus arrow key I can fine tune the graphic and Photoshop is showing me when I'm in the right track positioning that. I should actually position it somewhere somewhere around here and enter enter key return key Okay, let's hide now those series logos because we don't need that in my fake taxi car. And I can just put one into the back background in the into the rear bumper as well. So we really have this good looking fake taxi. If I want, I could add some cock images right here in the roof, but I don't want to do that in this sample file. Okay, now we just hide the wireframe body and we have this this looking pretty rough looking vehicle so vehicle texture. So now we're saving file save as and if we have opened the custom liveries folder here we can copy this uh, path here and go to the Photoshop and paste it right here in the Photoshop save as menu and we're here right here and then we have to choose the Photoshop plugin DDS. This is now the NVIDIA texture file and we're finding here uh, the car that we want to use. We have Audi Sport Quattro S1 liver. It's right here and it's gray. Audi is already there. Do you want to replace that? Yes. And then we are not uh, considering here. We could use any kind of special features like uh, shining and matte effects, but uh, I'm not a professional of those. So I just save the file. Right, let's overwrite that. And it, it will take some time depending on your computer power, calculating power, but it should work now, right after the save has completed. Then, then we can just hide the Photoshop and activate our project cars. So let's do it. 
Okay, we're here in the game right now and we just want to see is it working or not. I'm gonna go at this point with custom race. Let's go do the Audi. Let's find the Audi here, right here. And this is the Audi Sports Quadro, which I created the skin. Let's go livery select and choose the white one. We can't hear our own livery here, of course, because this is a different separate uh, graphic from the game engine so it's it is not delivery which we created but we can see if that's working by going showroom and here we go and we can actually see it is working brilliantly of course we want to see what the car, uh, car is looking and it's looking absolutely gorgeous from enjoy look at all these buttons here crazy amount There's so much detail, so much detail. The engine is sounding so fantastic. Okay, I think we're ready to go and put this fake taxi and move. There is no back seat, so... Oh. This actually shuts down. <laughs> After false start or bad start. There is no... No room for... Oh my god, I never actually be here. It's brand hatch. Rally cross track. This is part of Fun Pack DLC. Never been here, so I have no idea where the track goes. The first lap is gonna be just for learning. Okay, this curve I know. So I was saying that there is no space for backseat lap making, so we have to do it on, on here at the front seat in this fake taxi this car is absolutely brilliant i have of course driven the, with this car in many different games but this is i think this is the first game the feeling is that authentic that i would actually believe to drive with this that's of course my opinion but this is actually feeling I don't know, much more real deal than any of other games. Let's try to drive some drifty second lap. Yeah! <laughs> Great! I'm ruining up the engine so much. The car is getting a nice cover of mud, so... Oh my god! Oh, the hood was flying there! Did you see that? The hood was flying there. So, the car is getting the mud cover, so you can actually enjoy your your car texture cover up in the mud in this game. As well. Okay, the driving <laughs> part is a bit difficult right now. Can't keep the car under control very easily. The turning is a bit difficult. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.